Part of the problem is the 1983 Code of Canon Law. I have all kinds of problems with the 83 Code, but the 83 Code covers the situation with Lori Lightfoot, and I'm going to read it to you. It's a little boring. Code of Canon Law is legal stuff. It's law. It's canons. But for this topic, it's important to follow. So I'm in the 1983 Code of Canon Law. Uh, for those that don't know, the Code of Canon Law is the rule book. It's the manual. It's the laws. It's the canons that the cardinals and the bishops and the priests, the deacons, and us laity follow. So there's not chaos in the Catholic Church. Okay? So this is Code of Canon Law, 844-3, or comma 3. Quote, and I'm right here. Oh, this side. Catholic ministers administer the sacraments of penance, Eucharist, and anointing of the sick licitly to the members of Eastern churches which do not have full communion with the Catholic Church if they seek such on their own accord and are properly disposed. Pause. Taylor, why are you talking about Eastern Orthodox? Okay, it's important as we get to the next one. But what's important here so far is three of the seven sacraments have been listed here. Penance, confession, Eucharist, and extreme unction, or as they say in the Novus Ordo, anointing of the sick. Continuing, this is also valid for members of other churches, which in the judgment of the apostolic see are in the same condition in regard to the sacraments as these Eastern churches. Okay, now the next one, 844, 4. If the danger of death is present, or if in the judgment of the diocesan bishop or conference of bishops, some other grave necessity urges it, Catholic ministers administer these same sacraments, that's the three I just mentioned, licitly also to other Christians not having full communion with the Catholic Church who cannot approach a minister of their own community or who seek such on their own accord, like Lori Lightfoot, provided that they manifest Catholic faith in respect to these sacraments and are properly disposed, end quote. So 844,4 is the big kahuna. It says there's three conditions. You have a person who's, uh, I think Lori Lightfoot is a... Uh, African Methodist Episcopalian, AME. That's what she belongs to. So, in three conditions, Lori could receive, according to this 83 canon, penance, Eucharist, or extreme unction. Danger of death. Judgment of the diocesan bishop or conference of bishops. Um, Wait, is that the three? Yeah, that's the three. Danger of death, judgment of the bishop, or judgment of the conference of bishop for some grave necessity, and that's not even defined. I mean, you could maybe say, well, it's the mayor, and it's a funeral, and a cop died, and she's there to honor the cop, and she's baptized, and so the diocesan bishop in this case is Cardinal Supich, and Cardinal Supich gave it the two thumbs up, gave it the green light. This is why I've been saying it's not enough for trads to be in the traditional Latin mass or the divine liturgy of St. John Chrysostom. We must have traditional theology. We must have traditional liturgy. We must have traditional piety. That's why I say don't eat meat on Friday and pray the rosary every day. That's part of our traditional piety. But we also as Catholics, must have traditional canons. And the 1983 Code of Canon Law is a major problem. I don't hear a lot of traditional Catholics talking about it, but we need to talk about it. The Code of Canon Law in 1983 was changed for the worst. The worst. And one of the reasons... I know all you Catholics out there are like, why are all these bad bishops out of control? Why is there no accountability in the diocese? How come you have all these priests doing these naughty things? How come you have all these payouts and all these lawyers? Nothing's getting fixed. Nothing's getting done. It's because we have a soft, weak, 
Code of Canon Law 1983 that doesn't do anything. The old Code of Canon Law 1917 would actually list punishments, recourse, what to do. The 1983 just says uh, the bishop should impose some just penalty. What does that mean? Go on a retreat for two weeks and then come back to the parish and do more naughty stuff? Traditional Catholicism needs a traditional liturgy, a traditional theology, a traditional piety, a traditional priesthood, and a traditional code of canon law.